Yo, all right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back, man. And I'm like I told you, I am excited for what we're about to talk about right now. And it is something that I said is going to change the game. And that is the big news that man, Earth, Wind, and Fire has bought into Major League Rugby. Y'all, it was announced uh this week that Vernon White of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, I'm sorry, I said Vernon. Virgin White, man, put some respect. The basis for Earth, Wind, and Fire has purchased a minority stake into old DC Old Glory, man. What a big shout out to freaking Paul Sheehy and that uh, DC Old Glory group. Y'all, if you guys don't know, I mean, I, I hope you guys know. I don't know if you guys, you might be young. You might be young. I, I don't know. But whenever you got the guys again, put seasons... The seasons that we're here, the season that we hit the da-ba-da-da, can disappear. Ow! <laughs> September, do 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 remember. Ah, bro, like, that is huge. I want this to be bigger news than what is being placed out right now. Because that means that you have a direct connection, not only to a legend, but the credibility of other legends wanted to be a part of it. And it's not like Virgin is some, like, side guy. The man is a legit component of Earth, Wind, and freaking Fire. So you need to be able to tap into exactly what it is that they're going to do. Boy, I said whenever I heard that, I was so hyped. And it looks like apparently, you know, his interest for it was very interesting. He said he talked to his good buddy, Paxton Baker, who involved him in sports for quite some time. Because he's also, if you guys don't know, a minority owner in the Washington Nationals as well, too. And Baker, uh, his friend, is a owns a stake of the Washington Nationals and Old Glory, too. So obviously, you know, bring his friend to where they go. No gatekeeping. No gatekeeping. Uh, he would continue to say one of the reasons why he had an affinity to be able to invest in DC Old Glory, Old Glory DC, was that he had been coming to DC. Hold on, you know what? Let me let me show you. Let me show you what it is. Let me show you what's what's happening over here. He said we've been coming to DC for a year, for forever, forever DC. All right, and that man said. That man said, it, DC is kind of like where Earth, Wind, and Fire got launched. You know we really broke big in DC, and it was always been like a second home to us. In the beginning of our career, we were going to move to DC because we were playing there so much. And then he was like, yo, they, they went on the article. This is WTOP News. Uh, I was announced on there. Um, but the reason why he connected with rugby, rugby outside of his own friends, was the factor that he was like, yo, I thought it was sexy. I thought it was sexy because it was from overseas. I thought that it was really great. It's now in a new generation. People are getting into it. I wanted to be a part of it. Yo, that is what we should be doing with every freaking owner or entertainer or anything to just get them on board. Like, there was a buttload of people who went to go invest who were celebrities in stupid uh, uh, paddle ball. Or what was it, netball, or the old people ball that was not badminton, but it, I don't even care to re remember the name anymore. But we getting people like that, and they think it's sexy to be part of rugby. Yo, they said it's sexy. You got to get sexy, baby. You got to get sexy. And I think that's legit. It's something that has to be pushed that much more. Oh, my God. Like, that is so dope. So I'm hoping moving forward, moving forward, we get to see more of Earth, Wind, and Fire, or more celebrities entering in and being publicly announced to be able to be a part of it because I want to see more of these celebrities. That's how we grow the game, grow the casual because it's an influencer base. Look, they're going to bring their own influencers and they're going to do their own thing. But the key part is they're really going to go do their own thing, man. Uh, and, and that, oh, man, let's go. Let's go, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. My boy Benji out here trying to be a hater, uh, saying, mm, drugs are bad. Going through Instagram, obviously, you guys can hit us in the comments through where you are. I can't actually connect it over from Instagram, unfortunately, but from everywhere else, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, uh, not Twitch, uh, yeah, Twitch, Twitch, absolutely hit it in the comments if you guys get a chance. 
But, uh, yo, man, let me know what you guys think about this because I think this is one of the dopest things that could absolutely happen in rugby in the USA. Like, it's, it's an absolute, absolute necessity uh, for, for all things. So, um, all right, y'all. My name is Gift Gift Tommy Bailu with Health Enhanced Foods. <laughs> I want to talk to you a little bit about one of my favorite products, Buckwheat Baking Mix. Why is Buckwheat Baking Mix important to you? The one thing that you want to be able to do whenever you're eating your food is to not have to worry about whether it's going to be healthy or whether it's going to be good for your body. When it comes with buckwheat, this is one of those few seeds that have a plethora of layers when it comes to what your health is. And within the buckwheat baking mix, it is great for those who wanna be able to use it for pancakes, waffles, being able to make your bread, making homemade pasta, like absolutely spectacular for that. Now, it's not limited to those, but those are some of the best ways that we have found our customers being able to take care of it. On top of that, why is it so important? It gives you the protein energy that you absolutely need. And if you're an active person, I, I'm a very active person. I play rugby, you know, I like to work out. This one feeds back the muscles, feeds back your body exactly what you need and in a great way to be able to start off your day. It's rich in fiber. It is absolutely nutrient dense. And of course it has the level of protein that you really are wanting to need uh, whenever you wanna make sure that your body is feeding well. This is absolutely the breakfast food for anybody who is really trying to make sure that their kids or themselves really kick off correctly. And it's absolutely easy to make. All you need to do is put a little bit of baking flour to give it rise and it has everything else that you need for it. 20 minutes and you'll be done and filled up and ready to go on with the rest of your day. You guys can absolutely go buy this on healthenhancedfoods.com and be able to go ahead and check out that buckwheat baking mix. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your breakfast. Let's go. Hey, I, just said I, can't. I, said, I ain't convinced.